Hey guys, welcome back to Stranded Deep. So, believe it or not, even till today, there is a lot of people commenting on my videos stating that they are new to the game. And that is awesome. I'm loving to see Stranded Deep growing for the fantastic game it is. So then I thought to myself, what can I do to help all these newcomers out? So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys the top 5 things that you're going to start building, crafting, creating or whatever to get yourself started on the right foot in Stranded Deep. The first thing will definitely be a shelter. So for the second thing, it is going to be your water still. The third thing is a smoker. For the fourth thing, it is to build yourself a boat. So for the fifth and final one, it is to start building a base. The first thing will definitely be a shelter. The shelter is really important, so as you guys can read there, it says sleep and save. So it doesn't matter what you build, how far you progress, if you don't have the shelter to save, the next time you boot up, you will lose everything and you have to start from scratch again. Also, the sleep function I really like. Personally, in this game, it is really difficult to see at night. You gotta wait for the moon to get all the way on top of you before you can actually see properly. But still, you miss a lot of things in the area, so it makes it difficult to see. Also, to travel to other islands at night is risky because you might go to the wrong one or you might actually lose your island, so you don't know which one is your base island. So yeah, that is extremely important on behalf of me, uh, is the sleep function. So to make one of these is actually very easy. If you guys are new there will be a tutorial link on the left telling you guys what to do and all the set and etc and etc but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys so first thing you're gonna need to do is chop down a palm tree because you're gonna need sticks and you're gonna need these palm leaves so let me go quickly into my crafting menu as you can see here by the crafting the second one with this small structure house there is a shelter the first one so you're gonna need three sticks four palm leaves and one rope so after you chopped it down I did chop one down actually over here. So let me just show you guys. This is going to be really quick though. So a few hits and this log will actually break into sticks. And then a few hits on the palm leaves and it will break into palm fronts. So that is pretty cool. So you're just going to pick all of these up and you're going to have to collect lashing. So lashing you have to make from fibrous leaves. Sorry guys, it sounds like big terms right now. But don't worry, you guys can do it. I believe in you. So you're going to go over here and hit these palm saplings to get these fibrous leaves. So to make one lashing, which is technically rope. I don't know why they just didn't call it rope. But yeah, you're going to need fibrous leaves and you're going to need four of them. So there is one, two, three. And that is not the only place where you can get it. You'll also get it with these yucca they call it yucca but i call it yucca so from these ones over here so if you heat it they do drop six and also on them you'll find i don't know if you guys will be able to see there we go you find a yucca fruit there's actually one over here that you can see actually much better on them you do find a yucca fruit so if you do advance in the game you can actually make yourself a farming plot and then you can plant these seeds into the plot and then it will grow more of these trees which is really important so do consider doing that and then after that you're just going to go to your crafting menu you're going to go right over here you're going to make yourself some lashing it will be saved in your inventory over there and you can go ahead and make yourself one of these shelters so for the next one it will definitely be the water still these water stills are probably one of the biggest things you need to survive. They do supply water. And in this game, you're going to drain out of water much quicker than hunger. So I would say about 1.5 times maybe in around that area. So how it works is you technically just go and place these palm fronts or fibrous leaves at the bottom. And it will evaporate against the bottom of this... Can I call it? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's a cloth. And for some people, they still use tarps. And then it will all run down into the coconut flask. And obviously, if you drink, you're just going to hold E. And you're going to drink from it. So as you guys can see, I've got about three bars. There we go. Just over four bars. So personally, I built myself four of these. I know going to like four water stools is completely crazy. But they do help me out so much. I can literally place four of them. And I don't have to worry about water like ever ever again so making them is pretty easy as well you gotta be i think level two of your what do you call it of your crafting skills 
Okay, but this is not gonna work because I've already like maxed out almost everything. But yeah, I think you're gonna be level two though. But if you do your tutorial, that's in the top left corner when you start, you will be able to make it when I tell you to make it. So you're gonna need a few sticks. Let's actually just go here. You're gonna need three rocks. You need one lashing, and lashing is from those fibrous leaves that I showed you guys. You're gonna need one palm front from the trees. You're gonna need one coconut flask, and you're gonna need one cloth. So to get these cloths are pretty easy. You just run around on new islands, and you should get about two on every island. So as you guys can see, here is one right over here, and this is how they look like. Pretty simple, pretty easy to come across and you can just pick it up and you can take it to wherever you want to place your water still. But I've already made one so I'm just going to drop it there. And for the coconut floss, you're going to have to pick up a coconut. Do not destroy them. If you actually hit them, you can destroy them like that and you can drink from it. But yeah, next to that, don't do it if you want to make a coconut floss. And then you're going to have to go and find yourself some lashing. So let me just quickly go over here. Hmm, I think there was one here in the tree. Yeah, but I don't think I can pick it up. Come on. Alright, there's one fibrous leaf, two, three, four. There we go, I got them. And you're going to make yourself some lashing. You're going to go into your crafting system. You're going to go to consumables. Right here at the top, coconut flask. There we go, we got a coconut flask. And then obviously you're going to go to where you want to place it. And you're going to build your water still. The third thing is a smoker. Believe it or not, these smokers helps out quite a lot. And believe me, if you make one, you'll understand why. But hear me out. Let me explain to you guys why. If you're going to cook meat on the campfire with a stick or just drag it on there, it might rot in about two days, if I'm not mistaken. In that area, one day, two days, maybe three days, it will be rotten. But here on computer, your meat does not rot when you use a smoker. So I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's supposed to be like that. But in the past, I did have people saying that they did use a smoker. Once again, they are on console. So if you're console, please let me know if this statement is true or false. That if you do smoke meat on console, it lasts about 5 to 7 days before it gets spoiled. So before anyone argues and says this is worth it or not worth it, Five days before spoils is still twice better than two days of spoiled of cooked meat. And that is what I love. It gives you so much more time to actually gather food, cook them, and then you can be looting islands and etc. Not have to worry about food constantly. So this smoker is really, really important. So to make it is actually really difficult, especially if you're new, because you can't just build this entire thing like this. No, you got to physically go place a campfire on the floor. Once you're done, you're going to place a fire pit over the campfire and only then you can go and take a smoker and place it over the fire. So a lot of people do get confused when making it, but it is it is kind of easy, I would say. I don't think you guys will struggle too much. And all you need for it is technically, uh, if we do go up here, is four sticks for the fire, three stones for the fire pit. So you're going to place the, what do you call it, the stones around the fire pit. So don't make another fire pit, just have the three stones and place it over the current fire pit and then you're gonna need one cloth as I mentioned you found find them laying around uh, two per island you're gonna need lashing which is four fibrous leaves you're gonna need your three sticks and obviously if you're gonna stand here you've already placed your fire pit over your campfire and your campfire is in your fire pit so then you can just go ahead and place the entire thing so it does get kind of complicated I know it does sound or maybe I just made it even more complicated but you guys will get what I say I'm going to be heading out to my home island, so we're going to do this. You're not going to imagine yourself being at my island already as it is. I want you to get into your life raft and actually paddle your way to a different island. So I will show you guys exactly what I did on my island so then you guys can also have a feel of it. So yeah, just grab it and paddle to your island. Okay, I'm finally at my island. So as you guys can see, I've been building a little bit and you guys can build the same things. So for number four, it will definitely be a raft. So that is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to actually paddle to a different island with your yellow life raft boat. And then you can actually go and build yourself a raft. Sorry, I'm actually out of SPF. I'm having sunburn. So as you guys can see, this is my home island. And I still have got all my trees. I mean, I literally only had to chop down one tree. I think it was over here underneath these farming pots. Uh, because yeah, it was for the tutorial and I had to do it unfortunately. So, oh my word, it's 
can I just stop beeping, please? Yeah, so then I had to chop down one tree, unfortunately. But I saved all the other palm trees, guys. It was really, really important for me to do that. So that is why I went to a different island. And I actually made my raft over there. And then I came back to my current island. While wow, my game was freezing. There we go, gosh. So yeah, I came back to my current island with my raft. And then, yeah, I just technically went from there. I went to different islands. I collected the container uh, with containers. And then I placed them on container shelves. And they are currently not available yet for console. But hopefully, in the future, they will be. So in that way, if you have a raft, you can actually go to a different island and have all of these storage space. So literally with all of these containers on this boat, I can go to an actual island and take all the loot, all the palm trees, almost half of all the coconuts, all the lashing, all the fibrous leaves and etc. Then technically I just brought everything back here and I started building. So that is what I've been doing all this time, just going to islands, bringing everything back and build here. Going to another island, bringing everything back and build here. So that's a really good way for you guys to get started and build something great. So for the fifth one, it is to build yourself a house. So believe it or not, where I'm standing, as you guys notice with all the BP, it is your SPF. Standing in the sun will actually dehydrate you quicker, meaning that you're going to make yourself so much many more water stools. Keep on feeding them at the bottom. As you guys can see, all my water stools are like empty except this one at the bottom. I think up here there is some, some water. There's one. Now it's empty though. So yeah, I literally got to put in some fibrous leaves here at the bottom. But this gives you guys an idea of you're going to need a lot of water stools and you're going to need to make sure that you have a roof over your base. So that if you are inside, your SPF can actually regenerate. So just to give you guys an idea, this is where I keep all of my spares. For example, the engine, I think I place them all at the bottom. And then over here, I've got a gyrocopter parts, fuel parts, electrical parts, filter parts, and jerry cans. So yeah, that is something that I do. Also, when you're standing in here, the sun doesn't shine on you. And also, I've got these lanterns that's actually solar panel charged. But yeah, I, they don't even get sun, but they keep on recharging for some reason. But I don't complain, so at night I also have some light in here. So getting yourself a base is really good. It's going to help you sort out all of your things. And yeah, I really do recommend that. So also, that is how you want to grow. You want to get yourself like a nice table and chairs and etc. on the inside. Such as these ones over here. And small decorations such as a loose solves and etc. and etc. So yeah, that is definitely something that I can tell you guys to do. It is really good. This game is really fun. So definitely look into getting yourself a base up and going. You can always extend it and make it bigger. Or if you have an idea like me, you can start by one side and build your platform, build your next one, build up for a gyrocopter and then make yourself a raft and all that stuff. You can always come back later and complete the rest. It's not necessary for you to do everything at once. So yeah, even if you make a small hut like this, you can always just break down the one wall of it and then just extend it and build on and complete carry on as you wish but there we go guys as simple as that i really do hope that these five tips helps you guys out so much if it did please do drop a like on this video let me know in the comments if you thought something else was more important i uh, should have watered here that was pretty important <laughs> but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys did enjoy this video please do drop a big like if you guys are new to the channel and you would love to support it, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you guys would love to see a similar video that I think you guys might enjoy or also help you out, hit the icon on the left. If you guys want to see my most recent video, hit the icon on the right and I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, cheers everyone.